Hi, my name is Brent O'Reilly, and I'm a product marketing engineer for Eaton's Molded Case Circuit Breaker product line. Today, we're going to demonstrate the installation of Eaton's Flex Shaft Handle for Molded Case Circuit Breakers, Switches, and HMCPs. We'll be using a B-Line enclosure for the demonstration. As you can see, this circuit breaker has already been installed in the B-Line enclosure. For simplicity, the breaker installation process is omitted from this tutorial. First, we'll attach the outer handle and toggle mechanism to the enclosure. Start by removing the two screws and lock washers from the outer handle mechanism. Place the handle with attached gasket over the enclosure cutout, as shown. Insert the top quarter 20 mounting screw and lock washer through the enclosure and thread into the outer handle mech. Only tighten the screw for a few turns. With the outer handle mechanism held loosely in place, slide the toggle mechanism assembly over the top of the handle mounting screw. Insert the bottom mounting screw and lock washer through the toggle mechanism bracket, the B-line enclosure, and then into the handle. Adjust both mounting screws to the prescribed tightness. Next, we'll attach the actuator mechanism, which connects directly to the breaker handle. Remove and discard the two primary cover screws as, as demonstrated. Verify that the breaker and the outer handle mechanism are both in the on position, but not connected to a power source. This will make it much easier to mount the actuator. Place the actuator on the front of the breaker and orient the slider so that the slot captures the breaker handle. Fasten securely with the two 1032 3.5 inch screws and two number 8 3 quarter inch thread cutting screws. With the actuator fastened in place, we will install the spring. Connect the long end of the spring through the hole in the handle actuator link, as shown. Hook the shorter end of the spring into the tab on the lower portion of the toggle mechanism. Rotate the bell crank toward the handle and rotate the outer handle to the on position. Also, make sure that the breaker itself is in the on position. Align the actuator link and attach it to the bell crank, as shown. Secure it using an E-ring. Mount the door interlock pin and lock washer to the handle. Adjust to the prescribed tightness. Operate the handle mechanism to ensure functionality. To operate, either close the door or defeat the door interlock lever. If minor adjustments are necessary, refer to the adjustment checklist in section three of the instruction leaflet. It is important to note that the fully seated outer handle position is reserved for breaker reset. The off position is located just prior to the reset position. Finally, you'll need to install any appropriate door hardware, which is supplied in the kit. Thank you for watching, and please refer to the instruction leaflet for any additional questions.